Hail adventurers, tis I, Tila, Jihad, Johnny, and now featuring Bonbons with Pwn Star Gaming. Guys, how are you today? I hope your week has been very good. Um, you know, today's video is going to be really, really cool. Um, it's one that's been requested quite a bit, and um, I, I feel like it's time to do it. Um, this one is going to be a lot about different wilderness spots that you can go and farm some monsters on a maybe not 100% complete character yet. Uh, meaning maybe your skills aren't all the way uh, at max, maybe you don't even have an aspect yet. Um, these are some really good places to start out if you maybe don't want to go into a dungeon or you just want to do some wilderness farming. We're going to talk about the pros of farming in the wilderness versus dungeons uh, here in a little bit. And then also I'm going to show you some different spots that you can farm, obviously, uh, and uh, uh, you know rake in a, a fair amount of coin. But first, as you guys know, we do have our beer of the day. Uh, today's beer of the day is really cool. It's uh, from this, uh, I think this says Unibrow on it. Um, uh, Unibrow uh, Brewing and it's uh, La Fin du Monde, which is, uh, it's a Canadian beer from uh, in Quebec. And uh, La Fin du Monde, I think is French and it uh, uh, translates into English as the end of the world. Uh, basically, French settlers uh, came over, I think it was over into Canada, and they uh, uh, they said this was the end of the world, and they thought there was going to be tons and tons of gold over here, and that their lives were set, and uh, well, I mean, it, not, not so much, I guess, but uh, that's what this beer is repped over. Um, Pretty cool little uh, website. I'm not going to spend a bunch of time going over it, but I will say it's the most well put together website that I found. Um, they have like food pairings on there. It shows all their awards for different beers and stuff like that. Um, this one's cool. 9% uh, alcohol. So let's get uh, tipsy, shall we? I like that. That's a uh, Belgian style triple ale. Uh, that's good. That's real good. I like it a lot. Well, guys, let's go ahead. Let's uh, let's get into the wilderness, baby. All right, before I get started on showing you guys some of these awesome locations, I want to recommend that you go to, at the end of this video, ultimamapper.com and you download their free mapping service. It is fully supported by Ultima Online Outlands and it is really cool because it's going to show you the difficulty of the monsters, how many hit points they have even, and it, it's a full map of the Outlands world. What's really cool is that you can even, uh, on your own Ultima Online Mapper server, uh, you can request for help. And then everybody that's on that same server will get a notification saying, Hey, Pwnstar needs some help. And then they can recall to where you're at, they see where you're at in the world and come straight to you. Now in a future video we may go over some of the really cool in-depth things for Ultima Online uh, Mapper that it has to offer. But for today let's uh, hone in on these different wilderness locations that we've looked at. Let's go. Alright guys, so the first spot is actually, if you see here to the right, is going to be Prevelia. So as you guys know, the compass in Ultima Online is a little different. This way is south and this way is west. So it's going to be southwest of Prevelia um, at the uh, POI of Lizardman Fort. Uh, it is the north entrance, okay? Um, kind of like I was talking about, if you highlight one of these skulls, it's going to show a Lizardman, tier 4, 10 gold pieces, 175 hit points. Uh, does 7 to 14 damage, 50 armor, 25 magic resist, 55 whatever WR is. Uh, wrestling, okay, there we go. So we're going to minimize this. This is kind of what this place looks like. Um, as you guys can tell, there is plenty, plenty of lizardmen in here. Even some lizardmen shaman. Um, they are, uh, 
Yeah, there you go. This place right here, as you can see, it's not super popular. So you have plenty, and I mean plenty of uh, opportunity to kill some monsters in here. And uh, especially if you guys remember some of my old videos, uh, bring a uh, skinning knife because you are going to get a lot. And I mean a lot of leather, which if I remember right, leather is currently selling for about four gold a, uh, a, a, a hide. I guess we'll call it uh, four gold per leather, uh, three and a half, something like that. And uh, if you're doing societies, it'll definitely help out with the tailoring society. Otherwise, just throw it on a vendor and you're good to go. All right, guys, so here we are. We are once again near Prevelia. Uh, Prevelia is right over here. Um, and we are, I mean, I guess kind of southwest uh you know it's just kind of awkward but we are yeah actually directly southwest of Prevelia. Uh, last time we were a little bit more south of it i would say um, but either way if you head on straight up uh kind of uh let's see northwest from where my my dot is where tila is then you will see the ruins and underground layer this place is really cool because there's a lot of rat men Okay, so let's go ahead and minimize this. We'll scope this place out. You'll see over here some uh, a willed rat shaman, rat men, all these little guys here. Um, they are, you know, they're, they're weak enough that you can definitely gain some good skill on them. And if you come down here, let's take on down here, uh, you, you'll see a nice little downstairs underground layer. And uh, down here is a little bit stronger of a monster. It looks like somebody beat me to it. But there is a vampire down here that is a little bit stronger. So I feel like this is a really good place to kind of hone your skills and uh, uh, gain them up. And then uh, in, the, in the, the time that you're doing that, also accumulate a little bit of gold as well. All right, guys, we're going to get away from Prevelia a little bit. But if you have to ask where it is, it is going to be north of Prevelia. Uh, but more so, we are near Indaria. Um, and we are going to be once again kind of southwest, more so south, at the Bonfire. Now, the reason I say Bonfire is because it's right next to Bonfire, Sandbar, and Indaria Gate. Now, this one kind of holds a little bit of a special uh, sentimental value to me because my first house was right here that was given to me by my good friend Cypher, uh, and we were in a guild called Trash. Uh, that the guild house was right here. Uh, we came from another server that was uh, from Ultima Online Forever named EQMS, and uh, we all just kind of came over here and had a great time. We used to spend a lot of time on this little area right here that I'm gonna show you guys. But either way, uh, this bonfire is really cool because it's got lots of fire elementals. They're a little bit stronger, uh, but they're weak. Um, so they do a lot of damage, but they die quickly. Now if you come up here, there's a lot of monsters. We've got this little cool little house here that's got some monsters in here. And then uh, over here um, is a lot of their rebels. And they die once again really quickly, and they do a lot of damage. However, you can very easily, as you can tell, pull them out and you just got to watch for these little archers over here but you can kind of pull them away and uh, kill them there and then also i'll show you this right here is probably the spot that uh, a lot of us starting out from uh, uh, when we came over to the server spent a lot of time is these water elementals you know they're going to help you gain some magic resist if you're trying to gain that and also not do too much damage that you can kill them rather easily uh, with a lower level uh, character as we'll call it and uh, this spot right here uh, I mean it, it's going to net you a good amount of gold too as well so um, also, as you guys can tell, let me pull up Mapper one more time. It is very, and I mean very close to town. So if a PK comes or you, 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 you know, you need to uh, head to the bank because you're overweight, very quickly to get to the bank. So one of my favorite spots, especially as a new player. 
All right, so here we are, uh, very close actually to uh, the one with all the rat men that I showed you, the ruins and underground lair. This is called Burnt Cove. Uh, this one is a little bit stronger. Uh, there's gonna be some different things in here, lots of more fire elementals, some gargoyles. And then if you get really deep in there, you're gonna see even an infernal demon and an earth sorcerer. Uh, so this one is very, man, I, I mean, I. I don't know. I'd almost say that your character is pretty, uh, pretty well templated out. So um, he, he's getting pretty strong up there, we'll say. However, uh, let's head on in here, and you're, like I said, you're gonna see the gargoyle, living flame. I mean, this place even. I mean, it just looks badass. You know what I'm saying? I mean, there's a, a lot of cool stuff in here. If I can even uh, traverse through it, right? Uh, you got your infernal archers and soldiers. A lot of stuff you're going to see in the inferno dungeon, although it's in the wilderness, right? You even got your little uh, burning ash trees. These guys are, are real, real strong. Um, oh boy, i got to open up my thing. That way uh, Steam can recognize I have potions, right? Hopefully I don't die while I'm in here. As you can see, there's the infernal demons. Um, Guys, this is a very, very profitable spot, but make sure that you can handle it before you come here. Um, when those monsters that I just showed you are just dying almost instantly and you just kind of feel like you're wasting your time, that's when you should definitely make it over here. Um, once again though, a little bit more profitable. All right guys, and the last one I'm gonna show you for the day is actually the Runded <laughs> Lycium, Lycium, I don't know how to say the last word, Lycium, Lycium, whatever. Uh, this one's really cool, it's once again very close to Prevelia. Um, starting out, this little area right here is very newbie friendly, and then this area back here is a little bit stronger. You're going to have more uh, stronger things like Minotaurs and Cyclops and I mean just all kinds of cool little strong monsters. So you know maybe you could be gaining your skill here and as you get stronger head on back here into the, the stronger areas. What I really like about this place and uh, what makes it extremely uh, friendly uh, is that you're going to have all these walls here. If you are a character that has tracking then you can be tracking for reds the entire time and the second you see a red you can just you know use your room book to recall out so it, i mean it, it's a lot more difficult for a red to get to you with all these walls lined up everywhere um, this spot is a little bit more popular and I'm guessing it might have something to do with what I just said but also there is a few uh, treasure map locations in this spot um, but as you can tell as I'm getting deeper in here the monsters are a little bit stronger looking um, and then just stronger um, so they're gonna drop a lot more gold as well this spot is really cool guys so um, I hope that you're able to uh, make it out here like I said it's pretty close to Brevelia here's this little sunken sorcerer here and uh, yeah heck yeah guys all right guys so that does it as far as some of the different wilderness spots that i have found that are really helpful for people that maybe don't have their templates completed and even maybe they don't even have an aspect yet um i i think that some of the pros that come from farming in the wilderness is that it's easier accessible to get to your bank you're not gonna have to sit there and run all the way to a yellow moon gate just to be able to recall back to a bank. You can recall from anywhere, which leads me to my next pro. If you do have tracking, kind of like what I was saying in the uh, Rune Lyceum uh, area, is that you're gonna see that pop up as long as you have tracking set to murders and as soon as you see one you can just double click your room book and recall on out to your favorite bank and deposit your stuff and maybe go to your next one or wait five or ten minutes and head right on back and start farming again and you're probably okay wilderness farming is also less popular than dungeon farming so let's say you go to your favorite dungeon it's completely packed well you know where you can go to go ahead and get some good play time in and gain some gold uh, magic items for that lovely lovely essence and some other things now let's talk about one of the cons for wilderness farming 
Currently, there isn't any wilderness antiquities. There's no wilderness boss that you can help farm for your uh, your guild, and those are two really big bummers. I personally feel that as you are leveling your character and gaining the skills uh, that ready your character for the end game, that wilderness farming is really, really helpful. So take those things into consideration. All right, guys, so that does it for a couple of spots that you can increase your skill while gaining a fair amount of gold and experience if you do have an aspect. Hopefully you're lucky and you get something like a uh, MCD or a command core, an animal taming scroll, something that's really going to boost uh, your the amount of gold that you're earning while you are farming in the wilderness. Um, I hope that everything is fruitful for you and uh, also let's not forget we do have our raffle. So let's go ahead and take our opportunity to see who's going to win anywhere from 1 to 100,000 gold just by being a subscriber and commenting below some type of content suggestion that they would like to see in next week's video. Here we go. All right, so here we are. We have our random thing picker put up. We have all of our people on here. Uh, we are ready to go. And uh, these are all the people that commented below something, a, uh, a content suggestion for this week. Here we go. Let's pick one. And looks like we are going to hit up Giovanni Gome Seri Hava. Yeah, that guy right there. Let's go ahead and head on over to our random number generator. We have anywhere from 1 to 100. Uh, this is how much money you're going to make and you are going to get 28,000 gold. All you got to do is just message me in Discord and I will definitely meet you in shelter with a check for 28,000 gold for you. Okay, buddy? All right, Outlanders. Thank you very much. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share this video with your friends. Remember, every like, comment, and subscribe not only helps me, but it also helps the Outlands community grow. So once again, thank you very much for all your support. See you next week.